In this case, I would like to solve the system of equations given by 11y plus x squared is equal to negative 6 and equation 2 being x squared plus y squared plus 14y minus 22 is equal to 0. I'm going to label these equations. This is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2. Um, first of all, what type of equations are they? What If I was to graph these equations, what would I be obtaining? From the first equation, I know that it is a parabola. How do I know it's a parabola? Well, I know it's a parabola because there's an x squared term and a linear y. Um, and I, not only do I know that it's a parabola, I know that it's a parabola that opens up or down. So I just don't know which type it is, whether it's a, an up-pointing parabola or a down-pointing parabola, because it's not given in standard form. But I know it's a, it's a parabola for sure. The second equation is an x squared plus y squared uh, equation and we have uh, the presence of the x squared and the y squared with a common coefficient of 1 tells us that it is a circle. And the uh, it's nice to know that it's a circle. Uh, the problem is, is that I don't know where the center of that circle is and I, I don't know what the radius of that circle is. So what do I know about parabolas and circles? Well, I might have the situation where the parabola and the circle intersect in two places or I might have the situation where the parabola and the circle do not intersect at all if they if the center if the circle is outside of the parabola or i might have the situation where the parabola and the circle intersect in exactly one place if they are tangent to each other in that case that would yield double roots or twin roots and i would recommend that you might consider using some web-based software in order to graph these two equations. It's very easy to graph the equations using uh, in the internet software, but uh, for now what we're going to do is we're going to solve this algebraically. So how are we going to solve it algebraically? We're trying to find the point where the x's and the y values are common to both of the equations. So what we're going to do is we're going to solve for one of the variables in one of the equations. And the simpler equation is equation number one. I'm going to select that. I'm going to solve for x squared from equation one and we'll end up with x squared is equal to minus six minus eleven y and I'm going to box that in because what I'm going to do is now I'm going to substitute that value for x squared. I'm going to substitute that value for x squared into equation number two and then I will eliminate the x variable from equation two. You see x is only occurring once in equation 2, so it's going to be a very easy substitution. So when I substitute x squared is equal to minus 6 minus 11y into equation 2, I'm going to have minus 6 minus 11y. That's what my x squared value is. And then I'm going to have plus y squared plus 14y minus 22 is equal to 0. And that's great because now I only have one variable, and that variable is the y variable. So let's put it into standard form. We've got um, y squared, and I've got minus 11y plus 14y. That's going to be plus 3y. And minus 6 minus 22 is minus 28, and that's going to be equal to 0. So now I've got a trinomial, and I'm wondering now, are there any factors? Is it, I could use the quadratic formula. I could use my calculator to solve this, or I could try to factor this if possible. Are there any factors of uh, negative 28 that add up to positive 3? And it's easy to factor this by inspection since the coefficient in front of the y squared term is a 1. So we will have, let's see, factors are um, y uh, plus uh, 4 and y minus 7. 4 times negative 7 is equal to negative 28 and 4 plus negative 7 adds up to positive 3 and that's equal to 0. So there are two solutions for y and those two solutions for y are y is equal to negative 4 and the other solution is y is equal to positive 7. So let's take a look at what those two solutions are going to yield for us. Oops, I goofed here. It should be um, not plus 4 and minus 7. I just noticed that. It should be y minus 4, y minus 4, and y plus 7. And so our two solutions are positive 4 and negative 7. So we've got um, two roots, positive 4 
and negative 7 because the factors are y minus 4 and y plus 7 is equal to 0. So let's take a look at those two roots again. Starting with the y is equal to 4 root, what are we going to get from, the, from that for our x value? Well, we're going to substitute into that uh, substitution. That was equation number 1. And so we're going to substitute, and we'll end up with x squared is equal to minus 6 minus 11 times y. So it's going to be minus 6 minus 44. x squared is equal to minus 50. And uh, you can see that uh, there are no real roots here. This is going to involve an imaginary quantity because the square root of a negative number is an imaginary number. And so um, there's no solution, no, no real graphical solution here. And now let's take a look at what happens when we try y is equal to negative 7. So when y is equal to negative 7, we end up with x squared is equal to minus 6 minus 11 times negative 7. And minus 6 times 11, uh, minus 11 times negative 7 gives us minus 6 plus 77. So x squared is equal to um, 71. And that gives us a value for x equal to positive or minus the square root of 71, which works out to be x is equal to plus or minus 8.43. So there, uh, where our conclusion is, is that there are two points of intersection, and those two points of intersection between this parabola and this circle occur at 8.43 comma negative 7, and Eight, negative 8.43 comma negative 7. And so those are our two points of intersection. And uh, you can certainly confirm that by uh, plotting the um, two equations on graph paper.